All right, so we're on our way back from some other video production work that I had to do up north on the High Line. We were in Chinook, and now we're on our way back to Winifred. Well, the shortest way from Chinook to Winifred is actually over a ferry, so this is going to be pretty cool. We're going to take an old school ferry across the Missouri River, and it's a very long, desolate drive to get down here. So I've probably been on gravel for about 40 miles and absolutely nothing along this road. Then, of course, you come across a road impassable when wet. So we're actually going to lose the gravel here and go to a dirt road. Imagine driving down this and then all of a sudden you had rainy conditions, the road was super muddy down here and you just had to turn around and drive all the way back. That would be terrible. Imagine if the ferry was closed. This is going to be quite the little road here. It's been a few years since I've been on this, but it gets a little switchbacky down in here as we kind of come off the top down into the river bottom here. I don't think this combine cab was designed for three people. I don't recommend, I don't recommend this. Oh, foot rest. I, I don't know why I'm comfortable. I don't know why you're complaining about it. Yeah, I wonder why, I wonder why. This is what we do all day. We just watch Farmer Matt fix things when they break. We are not cutting wheat right now because the draper belt on the header is full of dirt. So it does not turn. Start the service truck up here. That's because we got to push this button in. Neutral. Air compressor. Let's see if it engages. All right, back to cutting they go. Just cruising along the edge here. This is not the most dramatic edge that we have, but it is an edge. This is a tributary canyon to Dog Creek, and Dog Creek is a tributary to the Missouri River. So, our combine's up there. I assume at some point, it's gonna flip directions and gonna need to unload, but probably not for a while. So I'm just kind of trailing here and getting a chance to look down into the canyons here. There'll be a nice pretty spot up here. Right up here, it's a bigger canyon than you think. Oh, careful we don't fall down. Because I don't think we would be climbing back up out of here. That's, camera's not gonna do it any justice, but that is steep. Steeper than you can climb out of by foot. Pretty cool. We've got about, what, 30 acres? And it'll be the end of the spring wheat and 2022 harvest is gonna be over with here in a few hours. So we're just gonna get in there and get after it for a few more hours.
right, guys, the drone's in the air. Last pass of Harvest 2022. Here we go. That's a wrap, guys. Harvest 2022, not 2020, 2022, is officially wrapped up. Bit of a different year. Not the greatest crop in the world, but you know what? It's a blessing to have something out there, and we got it done. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is the one you've been waiting for. This is the last professional car driver in the world. Let's go grain cart signing off for the 2022 harvest.